Questions? Are there any questions? Mr. The Leader of the Opposition. Mr. President. Mr. President, my question is to the Minister for Roads, Maritime and Freight. Yes. Minister, given the Premier said the WestConnex property acquisition process, quote, hasn't been as careful as it should have been, unquote, and local residents are being charged up to $875 a week to live in their own homes due to delays, what steps have you taken to fix the WestConnex property acquisition debacle? I thank the honourable member for his uh, question. Uh, I would question the term uh, debacle, uh, Mr. President, uh, but uh, we, we all we always aim to get it as good as we possibly can. And, uh, Not as good as the Premier uh, thinks it should have been. Well, nor I, nor I for that matter. Uh, you know, we, we, we always aspire to do things better than we're doing them at the moment. We do them pretty well, uh, Mr President, but, but we uh, need to do it better. Mr President, as I've told the House on more than one occasion, property acquisitions are a, a necessary part of any modern day infrastructure project, and that includes WestConnex. And understandably, the acquisition process can be unsettling for homeowners and tenants and affected businesses, to, to, to say the least. It, it, it really is, uh, it really is a, a, a tough process. But, Mr President, well they may gloat on that side of the House, because the majority of these acquisitions would not have to be made if the Labor Party didn't sell off the route where the roads were meant to be. So the ALP is just You're ridiculous. Mr President, roads and maritime services staff have been working sensitively to assist those affected through the process. Uh, as for any project of this size, there will always be cases where negotiations have been difficult and valuations debated, and instances where affected residents seek further uh, consideration from the government. Nevertheless, there are always opportunities for improvement yeah. in any area of activity, and we are pleased that the New South Wales Customer Services <laughs> Commissioner has been engaged to assist in a review of the way property acquisitions are managed for major road projects. The Commissioner is able to bring his expertise and a fresh perspective to assist government agencies to provide the best possible customer service as they work through these sensitive but necessary steps. Order! Uh, order! There's too much chatter. I'm having difficulty hearing the Minister, and I'm sure Hansard is as well. Uh, Mr President, as both the Premier and I have noticed, uh, noted, the, the personal impacts on individuals and families can be significant. So it is important that we continue to be vigilant uh, in the way that legal requirements of the Land Acquisition, the Just Terms Compensation Act, are applied by our agencies, and that we're dealing with people in a fair and, and frankly, importantly, compassionate way. Once again, Mr President, let me acknowledge that property acquisitions are a necessary and sometimes difficult component of providing infrastructure for the people of New South Wales. Yeah, right. Let me also acknowledge that the benefits of West Connex, of the New South Wales Government's complementary public transport investments, will flow through to the communities all across Greater Sydney. And Mr President, if they hadn't been playing politics, if they hadn't bucked up, the future of this state of this city, Shame Mr. On President, Shame we on. would not have to do as many acquisitions as we have to do. Not well, his career is a lot sicker. His nose grows with every word he utters. His nose grows with every word he utters. The Labor Party is the party of hypocrites in this state, and the party of hypocrites in this state. Order, order.